you imagine being in a group and loving everyone equally? No. It's being called the new relationship revolution. Polyamory. Engaging in multiple intimate relationships at the same time. With nearly half of marriages ending in divorce. The main reasons why divorces happen is infidelity. Less couples are saying I do. And more young people are experimenting with a new kind of love. How did you feel when I told you that I was polyamorous? It feels like it's really all just centered around sex. Don't get frustrated, Willow. Redefining relationships. I brought your boyfriend with you. Remodeling romance. How many other relationships are you involved in right now? Rewriting the rules. You consider yourself a poly newbie. Is traditional marriage a thing of the past? The history of marriage really irks me. Stay tuned. I have to interrupt because I, I am struggling yeah. here. I am struggling. Could you imagine? Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakwadash, to be honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. Um, this lesson is going to go into how leaning into your flesh is very dangerous. And this comes by way of the article I've seen. Um, about Will Smith, it says, uh, Will Smith's daughter, Willow, opens up about polyamorous lifestyle. I was introduced to it through a non-sexual lens. Okay. Um, which me personally, I find that hard to believe because, you know, you know, everybody knows Will Smith, his wife, Jada uh, Smith there. Actors, top actors, and um, a lot of times in that, especially in the echelon that they're at, they have to do a lot of wickedness. All right, and um, you know, being at the daughters like that, and sons just bug the fuck out. You know, odds are they had to partake in that wickedness as well. All right, and especially as a young child, anybody for for that matter, you know. That'll do something to your psyche. Okay. So here you got Willow Smith. Advocating. To. You know. Lay down with multiple sex partners. But that's not of the scriptures. You know. That's of this world. This world pushes. Sex. 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 Even on um little kids. Nowadays you have. You know. You have little kids. Uh, uh, dressing up in drag. It's wickedness. But it goes on to say, uh, singer-songwriter Willow Smith, daughter of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, opened up about her polyamorous lifestyle on talk show Red Red Table Talk. Where she was in conversation with her mother, her mother Jada, and grandmother Adrian Banfield Jones. Willow, age 20, opened up about being polyamorous. And how she was introduced to the concept with a non-sexual lens. Jada said that though the concept is not for everyone, she is with Willow as long as she is as as long as she is learning to have the greatest love affair with herself. Willow came out as bisexual in 2019. You see? So she wishes to have a love affair with a man, multiple men and multiple women. Okay. So reading on. But you know what? Let me grab a scripture because I want to harp on that point too. It says she is with Willow as long as she is learning to have the greatest love affair with herself. <laughs> okay. And again, this proves that... um. You know, it's, 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 it's bad. It's really bad. You know, as a matter of fact. What does scripture say about, you know, being in love with yourself? This is, uh, what's that, Jeremiah? Is 
17 and 9. Okay. The heart is deceitful. Which the water y'all about Shimia Shaf allow me to find this uh precept. Alright. So like let me um instead of five. Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus saith Yahweh, cursed be the man that trusteth in men and make it flesh his arms, and whose heart departeth from Yahweh. For he shall be like the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh. But it shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness and a salt land and not inhabit it. And that's what a lot of these people are going to inhabit. They're going to inherit, inherit destruction by trusting in themselves in that love of life mentality. You know, it's coming to a time to where you actually have to forsake this flesh because this flesh wanting to be comfortable is going to push you to. All right. Take the punch. Going to push you to take the R, take a RFID chip and really it's ultimately going to push you to eat a missile or receive whatever other plague the Lord has for you. OK. It says. Um, Blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh and whose hope the Lord is, for he shall be as a tree planted by waters and us that's trusting in the Lord. You know, on the contrary, like I was, you know, watching the Apostle Kabar's lesson different brothers lesson going into you know the woman of this world and it's best not to have a woman you know so through the way of the lord we're actually learning to forsake the flesh you know because as an israelite man we are meant to have multiple women you know but um i mean understand that right now it wouldn't be profitable for us right now you know it would just be to honestly just to fulfill your lust, you know, which back then, you know, was to nation build is to build a nation. OK, but now it's not profitable, as Apostle Paul even said, all things are, are lawful, but not expedient. All right. So it says, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and as spread it for her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh for her leaf shall be green. And shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Okay. And um, through the spirit, I feel the need to show you, brothers, the videos that I've been watching. You know, like I said, through the spirit. Okay. As you see the brother GMS this time, too. All right. Um, the older brother, uh, Malcolm L. GMS Maccabean Spirit. It says, as you see, I'm tired of getting my service broken, really. You know, on um, the Apostle Gabar's lesson, um, commentary on today's woman in this ministry of truth. Okay. Um, there's another one I found very uh, edifying. I was watching it the other day. Uh, GMS Inspiration and Motivation, the brother out there in Cali. It says, death by feminism, the law will give us woman whom he chooses, you see. So we're just, through the spirit, as this world is leaning more towards their flesh, we are leaning more towards the spirit, which is going to, in turn, you know, allow us not to take the pinch, you know, and ultimately be destroyed. Allow us not to take the chip, okay? The scriptures say, um... That the blessings of the Lord in Proverbs 10 and 22 make it rich and he has no sorrow to it. Okay, so the blessing of the Lord at this point in time is the Holy Spirit, the Rakat Kodash. You know, that spirit of peace. Okay. So it says, um, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth for her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaves shall be green and shall not be careful in the years of drought. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So for a parent, you know, to push that, you know, to follow, um, to be in love with yourself. As far as, you know, um, giving your flesh everything it desires, that's wrong. As a matter of fact, 
you know, me and her brother the other day, we were watching this this uh, interview with, uh, I believe she's running for Congress or some type of office, uh, Angela Stanton. And she was breaking it down to, um, you know, Angela Yee, um, DJ Envy and Charlemagne, basically going into how as a parent, you're not supposed to, you're, as a parent, you're supposed to direct the child in the right way. You know, you're not supposed to allow them to, you're not supposed to, um, what's the word, massage, you know, their folly, basically is what she was saying, you know. And Angela Lee, of course, you know, being being of this world, she said, I disagree. I believe that you should support your child or whatever. And uh, DJ Envy said the same thing, you know, and that's why they're going to be destroyed. Um, this is second. What was that? Uh, second Timothy three and one. It says, "This know also that in the last days perilous or dangerous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy." But that was the point, man. Men being lovers of them own selves. Okay. Then it goes on to say, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. You know? So in the last days, you're going to be doing, you, man in the flesh, all right? Man following after their own vain opinions is going to be doing everything against the law, statutes, commandments of the Heavenly Father. Meanwhile, man in the spirit, i.e. us over here at Great Millstone, and brothers that follow us in like manner, are doing more in the spirit, doing more lessons, getting more into the um, you know, getting more into our praying, all right, fixing our diet, getting more into the laws, you know. Me personally, through the spirit, I was thinking more, I want to get more into the laws, you know, because the laws teach us the right way, the, the way of life, okay. So now going back to this article, it says, um. What is a polyamorous relationship? A polyamorous relationship is the one where a person can have intimate relationships with one, one with more than one partner with the informed consent of all involved. Okay. The society generally regards monogamous relationships as the accepted norm. Anything other than monogamy is seen as immoral and even illegal in some cultures. This is Willow said on the chat show with polyamory, all right, which the word poly meaning many, I believe it is the Greek, and amory meaning love, so many love. I feel like the main foundation is the freedom to be able to create a relationship style that works for you and not just stepping into monogamy because that's what everyone around you says is the right thing to do. So I was like, how can I structure the way that I approach relationships with that in mind? You see? Also, doing research into polyamory, the main reasons why monogamous relationships or why marriage, why divorce happened is infidelity. Okay? And this is true. All right? But a woman... She's supposed to be faithful to that one husband. See, a man can have multiple wives. You know? But a woman is supposed to be faithful to that one husband. That's actually a curse. I believe, um... Let me see, where's that at? Uh, my daughter's...
Now this is a, this is actually a good one. You know, I was just reading through it. So it's uh Hosea four and seven. You know, I should start at six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because that has rejected knowledge, rejected the law, statutes, commandments, the ways of the Lord. You know, which nobody's hunting for righteousness. Everybody's doing as they will, and that's going to lead to their destruction. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, I will change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people. They set their heart on their iniquity. And they shall be like people, like priests. And I will punish them for their ways and reward them their doings. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredoms and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to Yahweh. You know, and this is more so going into spiritually of how they're going to serve these other gods and they're not going to be increased as those other nations that also serve those gods. You know, because the Lord is their rock and the Lord is showing them like, look, you know, you went away from me, so you got to get punished. I got to take th take stuff away from you, you know? So it says, For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredoms and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to Yahweh. Whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. My people as counsel. At their stocks and their staff declare unto them, for the spirit of whoredoms have caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their God. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains and burn incense upon the hills under oaks and poplars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore your daughters shall commit whoredom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. Okay. So now the Lord is, is sending a curse upon us because we have did that into the Lord. He's going to allow the Lord to do that into us, man. You know, as far as, you know, because we're the Lord's woman. All right. And we went away from him. You know, what the Lord was predominantly talking to the men to do right. So because the Lord's men didn't do right, he's going to allow their woman to do wrong by him, by their woman to do wrong by them, you know. So in essence, it's actually a curse for our women to be whores. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouse when they commit adultery. For themselves are separate with whore, separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. But on the contrary, when you go into a law, let, let me grab it. You know, because some people will say, well, you know, men do it. Why can't women do it? Well, the Lord actually put that in the law. If a man has multiple women, how he should treat them, you know, but a woman should not have multiple men. You know, um, I think that's Exodus 21. If I'm mistaken, let me see. Exodus 21 and 10, straight to the point. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, or her duty of marriage, shall he not diminish. Okay? So that's plain to the point. If a man have another wife, the first wife, he's still supposed to hold her down. You know? But it was more strict as far as woman. Like a woman, her father would give her into a man. You know, and that was, you know, his for life. You know, and she was to be with that man for life. Um, okay. 
Damn, thinking of another point. That was pretty much the point, you know. Of how a woman being whores, that was, you know, that's a problem. You know? And furthermore, you know, going into a uh, nation building, that's how, you, that's how you know, uh, you know, being a, a bi is wrong because, you know, how can you, what's the purpose of that, you know? Again, it's to uh, fulfill your lust, fulfill your flesh, your sinful, wicked flesh. All right. Meanwhile, you cannot uh, recreate. All right. As a matter of fact, if they wanted to have a child, they would have to go out to a sperm bank. You know. Thus, you know, getting them, um, you know, getting a man's semen and putting it within them. All right. Going to show you that that's how things are supposed to be. Or do you have to adopt? All right. From what? And that child comes from what? A man and a woman having sex and, you know, maybe... You know, they, they, they give the child up for what well, they gave the child up for adoption. You know, so that's the way, real way things are supposed to be. Okay. The scriptures that tell us to what? Be fruitful and multiply. That's actually what the first commandment that the Lord gave to man. Be fruitful and multiply. Okay. So it says, Willow also explain that polyamory isn't necessarily centered on multiple sexual partners. I'll give you an example. Let's say you haven't always been the kind of person that wanted to have sex all the time, but your partner is. Are you going to be the person to say, just because I don't have these needs, you can't have them either? And so that's kind of, and so that's kind of one of the reasons why actually, why I was actually interested in poly, because I was introduced to it through a non-sexual lens. In my friend group, I'm the only polyamorous person. And I have the least sex out of all my friends, she said. Okay. So again, you know, goes to show you that somewhere along the line of her growing up, you know, there was some wickedness that happened. Okay. Seeing it through the spirit, you know, I could be wrong, but if she's the only polyamorous person around her group where you know where did this where did this fascination where did this uh spirit come from you know every thought you know uh comes you know through spirit really it's a spirit so it says smith added that even though she believes in polyamory she didn't see herself having more than two partners at a time she added that since the age of 17, she started thinking about polyamory. Me and my partner were in a long distance relationship and I just didn't want and I just didn't want to hold him back. It wasn't that I didn't trust him, but once I framed it as how it would benefit him, not just me, it was fine, she said. You see? But again, that's just people leaning into their own flesh. Okay? You know, and and again, the, the common mindset of this world, which is really what rather believe, people believe it or not, was ultimately impressed impressed upon him from the rulers that be. You know, there's um I was reading a little bit about this uh it's called the Communist Manifesto, and which ultimately goes into the New World Order because what communism, which the com Communist Manifesto pushes, is the, you know. The freedom to live without, you know, separation. How everybody's thoughts, you know, with a line and free thought and all that BS. You know, the freedom to live as you will. The freedom to live in wickedness. All right. Without religion to stop you. And all this nonsense. The American, uh, the American way. <laughs> really, really the American way pushed and, and, and loved throughout the world. That's basically what it is. Okay, but the scriptures say the eyes of the Lord is upon a sinful kingdom and he will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Revelation 18 says that her sins have reached throughout the awful corners of the earth. And what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. So it said, this is Exodus 23 and 1. Thou shalt not raise a false report, put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Neither shalt thou countenance, uh, 
a poor man in his cause. All right, we're jumping now. Now, the Lord tells us after all these, you know, after all the commandments, verse 13, Exodus 23 and 13, 13, and in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be out of thy mouth. Okay. Meaning not to set other gods on a pedestal. All right. Because of course you have to make mention of other gods to talk about them. Okay. But not to set them on a pedestal. So that was um, Exodus 23 and 13. I'm going to go into that word circumspect. Meaning to keep, guard, observe, give heed. Okay, Shamar, he were Shamar to watch. All right, so watch. All right, this is a uh, no it's Ephesians, that was a good one, but this is Ephesians 5. And uh, 14, wherefore he saith, awake that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. You know, and ultimately, this is going to be the light because the scriptures say um, he had preserved, like in Romans 11, as well as um, Isaiah 6, you know, some will preserve, you know, until a missile, really. Scriptures say. How long, O Lord, until the cities be destroyed without inhabitant? Okay. And Yahweh Shah shall give thee light. And we're that light that the Lord gave you. All right. Give you that understanding. You know, as Lot, you know, spoke to his family, they, they uh, you know, um, basically pushed, pushed his words aside, you know, and they, they stayed to destruction. So did, So do they to us. See then. That ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine, where in his excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Okay? And when you're drunk with wine, generally speaking, you know, your judgment is off. Okay. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, you, I can edify Shalom to the elect.